Hey guys, it's Danielle here, and welcome to another plugin tutorial. Now, today's plugin is Private Chat, or that's what it's called. And what this plugin does is it allows you to talk to your friends or other players in a private channel and in different kind of ways, which I'm going to show you in this video. Now, as you see, there's an account behind me, which I'm going to be using to test out the multiplayer features because obviously I can't exactly show how the private chat works uh, when it's just me. Now, the first command that we're going to do is channel create, and then we need to do a name. I'm going to do meow because yeah. But this name can be anything that you want it for the channel name. But there are a couple of names that are blacklisted. So just be aware of that. And this creates a private chat channel where I'm going to be the owner because I created it. So it's this is my channel. And you created the channel meow. You are the channel owner. Yay! If I want someone to join into the channel to talk on the channel with me. What I can do is channel invite player name. So I'll just do tab and then meow. I sent an invite to this account. Now let's see what the invite looks like and what we can do with it. You have been invited by me to join the meow channel. Okay, so channel join meow. You do not have permission to. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> My account is an opt. Okay, now that we're opt, I can do, I can do the same command again. Yay! I joined the channel. As you can see, I just did a dot. I'm in the channel. I'm not. I'm. I'm in the meow channel, and yeah. So I also send a dot over here, and you can see that the O stands for owner because I own this channel. And this is what it looks like to be sending messages on the same channel, the meow channel. Now, the next command that we're going to be doing is slash channel check. And then that. What this does is it checks which channel or multiple channels the person is in. So he's in meow, therefore Andwin is in the channel meow. Okay, the next command that we're gonna do we're gonna move to Andwin to do it now here we're gonna do slash channel leave we're gonna leave but we need to specify the channel name so leave meow oh my god that was so creepy <laughs> that was one of the creepiest thing ever. oh it's a sound noise I think okay now I'm not in the meow channel so if I do if I do hello over here I'm in the normal world. You can see that it's different. And if I go to my other account and I talk in the channel and then come back here, you would see that I, that I can't see what's set in the channel. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to show you how to kick someone. And we're going to kick Andwin from Meow. That was also so loud and creepy. What the hell is wrong with these sounds? These are so creepy. I'm sitting here midday just being creeped out. Thank you. Plug in. For the next command, we're gonna do slash channel promote. Oh, I clicked er too early. Promote, then it's player name, and then it's channel. So what this does, it promotes the player to the next position. So what it does now, he will be promoted to what I believe the next rank is moderator. And then if you promote again after moderator, they'll be promoted to the owner. So I can end up giving Andwin the owner of the channel. There, if I talked here, you can see I'm a moderator. And then if he's promoted again, he'll be owner. But I, I, don't, I don't want him to take my ownership. So we're, we're, we're not going to do that. Because we don't want him to take my ownership, we're going to do a channel demote him from... There you go. He's, he's not... He's not taking my ownership. Not today. For this next command, what we're going to be doing is we're, we actually do need to kick Andwin out. This is because what we want to do is we want to do slash channel spy on meow. And this is a special command only intended for server staff. So you have to make sure the staff have this if you want them to be able to do this. And now, as a spy, if we go back to Meow, before when I messaged on Meow, Andwin couldn't see what, what was being said. 
But here, if I said, I don't know, haha. Yes. Siri, what are you doing here? Just consulting my Siri eight ball. <laughs> Hashtag attacked by Siri. Go away, please. Oh, he went away. Oh, that's so smart. Okay, and we're back. So, for some reason, my recorder just froze on the scream of me before switching to Anwin to show the spy. And that continued for the rest of the 15 minutes of the video. So, yeah, I did actually finish the tutorial. But only the audio of it was recorded. The, the me showing everything wasn't recorded, so I have to do it all again. I know, so fun. I'm so enthusiastic right now. If I do ch channel on spy and then the channel name, which is meow, you'll not be spying the channel anymore. So it won't actually work because I wasn't spying on it in the first place. The next command is slash channel join stuff. And what this is, this is a channel that's pre-made on the plugin for stuff members and only staff will be able to access it. So if I talk, there you go, this is the staff chat. And if I go to Anduin, he will not be able to see what's in this chat because he's not in the staff chat. So it's only between staff. If I do such channel list, it's gonna list all the channels that I'm in and that's only staff at the moment. The next command says channel, send, and then we're doing in the channel name and we're doing a message. So hello, this is me again. Oh, okay. I forgot. I'm not in. Yeah, there you go. We're doing it in stuff instead. I forgot. That was the thing. Channel messages stuff. That's what stuff. That's what I meant. Oh, it's caps stuff. There you go. And now on the stuff. Hello, this is me again. He's on this board. And I can edit the message. I can delete it or I can just exit. And I'm. I'm gonna delete it, and if I go back to the messages, the staff board has nothing. So this is useful for, let's say, Skyblock, when you want to tell the people who are offline, let's say, hey, Bob, can you build this house? I'm gonna be, off, or I'm gonna be off for two weeks, um, which is more efficient than just placing signs around the island. The next command is slash c general, and then we need to send a message. So hello, general. There we go. This is the general message thing so it's similar to how we did with this one it's in the general chat anyone can access it they just need to do slash chat gen um, slash c general and then whatever the message is the next part is we're going to see from the other account and we're going to do slash c hollow we're going to do the player and then we're going to say hi yay 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 there you go and if we go over here, we can see that I sent hi AI and it's gonna be in their view. So they're gonna see this message. But as, as another player, I can also see this. And it's gone, it's only there for a couple of seconds. And the next thing that we're gonna do is slash status create. And then it creates what I, oh, I did meet mine as me, I already did mine because I, I did this. <laughs> and what this does, I'm not gonna click enter, but this is what the command I entered before. And what this does is it creates a status that is viewable when you hover over it. So if, if I show you, there's no status set, and this says player, game mode, and status. So if I do, apparently it's not there anymore. Okay, good. Status, create, oh, create, meow. Then if I hover over myself when messaging, you can see that my status is meow. There you go, my status is meow. That, that is what is seen. So the, this is, I think, is a really cool attribute. If someone is using a status that you don't want to be used because it's inappropriate, you can do status remove and then player name. So if I did like that, if I talk again, you're gonna see that I don't have any status set. Just reset it. Um, you can also do slash status get, ooh, Status, get, and then let's say from there. And he has a new status set because he doesn't have any set. Okay, the next part that we're gonna do is phone calls because you can set a two player channel, a uh, channel between two players, yes, that's what it means, where it's just private and those two players can talk to each other. And this is gonna start off with phone create. But I already have a phone number. So that was just showing you what the command is. And you can also get your phone number if you do phone, phone, 
equals, there you go, you'll also get the phone number, 7932. And we're going to go to N1 and we're going to call myself. Phone call 79, oh no, 7932. There we go. We're calling myself. Oh my god, I'm receiving a call but from Anwen. Thank you for calling me. Slash phone answer. I answered the current, the recent phone call that's happening. So if I talk here, you can see that it's in the call. That's so cool. I know. Okay, what you could have also done is you could have done slash phone deny to deny any incoming call. And you can also, which I'm going to do, leave the call. There you go. The call has ended. If I talk again, it's going to be in a different channel. And also notice that when I joined the call, I left the stuff chat channel. And what it, it's, it's what it does. It leaves all the channel that you're in and just joins the call one. Okay, well, something that else that you can do is slash phone spy. And then, let's say, and win. So you can spy on his active phone call. And it's only his active phone call. So if he's not in the phone call, you're not going to be able to spy on it. And then there's also the unspy command. And there you go. That's all the commands that this plugin has to offer. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to smash that like button. I would very much appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And finally, if you haven't followed, joined, or whatever is applicable on the social media yet, make sure to do that. All the links for the social media are in the description below. And anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!